So I'm in the new bathroom, it's finished. I'm just gonna show you a quick clip of what it was like before we ripped it out. And then I'll show you around, show you where everything's from, why we made certain decisions, and I really hope you like it. Just for full disclosure, I am marking this video as an ad. I've been really lucky to work with some amazing um, bathroom brands for this, and some of them have kindly gifted some items for the bathroom. Um, none of this is paid work. Some product may have been gifted in exchange for featuring on my channels. This won't affect my opinion in any way. Um, I'll talk you through everything. Absolutely everything else was paid for and everything was designed and fitted by ourselves. So that's something we're really proud of. It's taken a long time, but there's definitely um, some reward in knowing that you've put it in yourself. I say ourself, it was mostly Matt. But I did tile most of this wall, so me. I'll link absolutely everything in the description box below, and I'll also mark on there um, which items have been provided by brands, just so it's clear. Here's what it looked like before. So, this is the only door in the house that is not painted um, in the tin bath that I have on all the other doors. Um, I wanted to paint the bathroom door pink purely so that when people come over to stay or visit um, and they ask to use the toilet, we can just say, yeah, it's the pink door upstairs because I'm a little bit sad like that. I'll talk about the pink paint in a minute. So when you come in, this is where the bath used to be and the sink used to be there um so the the original sort of sh shower screen which we actually changed to a curtain was here but we decided that it would be better use of space to split the room this way and have the shower door here which having used the room like this it was really hard to picture before but it was definitely the right decision it's opened the room up a lot um, and it, it does feel a lot bigger in here so i'll start with my absolute favorite piece of the bathroom um is the shower door um it's from soak.com it's feature but it also lets all the light through i think it wouldn't have worked in here if we had a frosted screen because because it, it would have just blocked so much light and it would have made it feel smaller um, so this was actually perfect. The black is only on the other side, so this side is completely smooth, which makes it easy to clean um, when you're showering. And then this side is the actual, the ridges are on this side. So you don't need to worry about it being completely impractical, um, cleaning it after showering and stuff. I think this comes in three different sizes, uh, width ways anyway. Uh, we went for the smallest one, I think it's about 800 wide, but it's just beautiful. It's completely changed the look of the room. The fixtures, uh, the taps and everything are all from Drench. So in the shower and the sink as well. So we've got the rainfall, which is amazing. Um, and then we have um, sort of the multi-tap function because um, we got this, I don't even know what you call this, but it's really handy to have that as well as the rain, uh, rainfall one. I love to use that to wash the dogs and to <laughs> rinse my plants, but they really are all fab. All the black fixtures are cross water and they're such good quality. Um, I think it's gonna make such a difference, this bathroom compared to the, the ensuite that we fitted um, because we've got all brass fittings in there. So obviously after time, they will start to tarnish a little bit, but these, shouldn't and that's i think black the black the matte black is just going to be so much easier to keep clean um and I, I do think they'll last a lot longer so fingers crossed with that tiles are all from tops tiles i think they're called micro line i think that's what they're called anyway but i'll link them below and i was desperate to have them um in the herringbone pattern which was a total pain in the ass for us to tile but it really is so effective so yeah, we got that done all the way around. So the tiling did take us a long time, but um, 
so so happy it looks so good these tiles i'm not really sure where they're from sorry that's not very helpful but i'm sure if you just google black marble tiles you'll be able to find some and um, we had a bunch left over from when we did uh, got samples for the bathroom our ensuite bathroom um that we never used in the end so we were just sort of using up leftover tiles when matt took the bath out it had been built strangely like the edge of the bath had been built into the wall so this whole wall uh the plasterboard was damaged um and so it had to be rebuilt anyway which actually gave us the option there and then to put some wall shelves in so it was actually a good thing anyway really to be honest that they, that they got damaged but yeah Matt's done such a good job with these shelves and it just helps sort of declutter you don't have to have anything else on the wall uh, they look really good we try to wipe this down every day after the shower just so we don't have to clean it as much so I found a black black what do they call these shower I don't know it's like a squeegee thing isn't it um to match that is from home colors and then these really cute little hooks sort of like a speckled um hook and i've got another one over here exact same they're um they're firm living hooks, but I got them from uh, Dot Maison. Oh yeah, coming back to the door. So, um, as I was saying, I knew I really wanted a pink door, but I was really struggling to find the right pink that I wanted. It's sort of a peachy pink. Um, it's not too, too bubblegum pink. Um, but I couldn't find the pink I wanted, but I knew that I loved this pink. This is like my favourite um, planter. This is also from Dot Maison. Um, so I took this plant pot into B&Q to the Valsper um, paint match desk and they basically matched the paint exactly to this. So yeah, I've never used that service before, um, but highly recommend it because it's quite often you can buy 10 different testers and still not get the colour you want but if you've got something you know you love take that in get a tester pot check it it's probably going to be exactly what you want the floor tiles were probably the hardest part of this whole project um they are from Bert and may and i absolutely love them i really couldn't find anything else similar i love that they've got that sort of faded wash look but because they are not normal uh, tiles, they're cement tiles. And these are, I think they're called the darkroom shift tiles or something. Um, so the floor is a mixture of the three different patterns um, completely randomly laid. But because they're cement tiles, they don't come finished as sort of your normal tiles they don't have a glaze so they're not they're not protected you have to seal them yourself there's there's a lot of um prep to do before you can put them down they stain really easily before they've been sealed or anything so you have to be really really careful they were the first thing we put down um and matt covered them with carpet underlay to protect them and even when we took that up there was some marks so it all had to be sanded out um so yeah, I'm not saying don't get them, I'm just saying be aware um, because I'm not sure we, we really we looked into it properly um, and kind of didn't realise until it was too late. So they do look a bit scruffy unfortunately but it doesn't really bother me to be honest, it's just that they are a lot of money um, so I would hate for anyone to be disappointed. And the other thing is that they need maintenance every couple of years so you need to be they need to be sealed every couple of years um, so there is a bit of upkeep as well but like I say the design of them they look absolutely brilliant I love them they have completely transformed this room you just need to do your um, research and to be honest if you're getting someone into tiling it's not going to be an issue for you anyway as long as your tiler knows what he or she is doing then it, then it'll be fine it was just um, circumstances for us unfortunately so we did put um, underfloor heating under here as well, but it has made a big difference. With it being an open um, shower rather than an enclosed one, you definitely need 
um, a room that's going to hold the heat and having a bit of under underfloor heating did help do that. Um, along with our new wall radiator from Soak. Um, this has been such an improvement from the last radiator because it's so much bigger and it gives out so much more heat So, and it's just ideal for towels and bath mats so yeah really 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 pleased about having a towel radiator in here and it matches the tiles perfectly that sort of anthracite colour oh by the way I got the door handle um, sorry the door lock from B&Q and I'll find the handle link, I just can't remember right now. And we've got the panels for the underfloor heating. So the sink, I got the mirror, which is like an asymmetric sort of pebble shaped mirror. I bought it back back in November during the Black Friday sales. Um, H&M had 20% off for 20, 24 hours or something, and I managed to get one. Um, so yeah, I really love that. I'm not sure if they do it anymore. They've never seemed to restock anything. But if they do, I'll link it. Um, but they do have a really good, good range of mirrors at the moment. The light I got is, is a Tala pendant and bulb from Dot Maison. It just gives it a bit of um, just a bit of a fe feature to have in here, really. The bulbs have a nice glow. Taps, like I said, are from Drench as is the sink, countertop sink, and the um, plug, these towels, how cute are these towels? They are from soak.com too. Oh, I really love them, I'm a bit different. This is the first time I bought Aesop soap because I was a bit um, dubious about doing it with it being so expensive. <laughs> and I still haven't tried it because the sink only got fit, fitted a few days ago um, and I just haven't tried it yet but I'm um, hoping that it smells nice if not I'll just refill it with cheap soap that I like <laughs> I got the wall mount from oh gosh I don't know I can't remember but I'll link it the shelf this was really quite hard to find um, because it had to be custom made basically I knew that I wanted American oak and I knew roughly the dimensions and the thickness and everything I wanted um, but for what it is it was quite quite expensive and it needed to be sort of sealed so it was suitable for a little bit of water splash from the sink but it looks the part and it ties everything together so um, yeah I, I do really love that the shelf was from I think it's called Oak Store Direct I didn't want um, a cabinet or anything because it's so it's such a small room. I really wanted to keep it really open. I didn't want much clutter, so that was definitely the right decision to do. And then you've got the feature bottle trap down there. That's from Drench. This really cute little matte black um, bin is by a Danish company, Zone Denmark. Um, and I got them from Home Colours and also the toilet brush to match. And you can see that. And they're just perfect for in here. The pink basket, the menu um, basket. Um, so yeah, I'm just using that for toilet paper. The plant pots, like I said, are from Dot Maison. I've had them for a while. I've just moved them from the bedroom because I thought they looked better in here. We've got more of the tiles on the windowsill that match the ones for the shelves. Then I've got another of the plant pots, but in black. And the stand also bought from Dot Maison. In fact, there's quite a few accessories in here from Dot Maison. Um, the hanging planter. These are all actually firm living accessories, you know. Um, literally all the plant pots, the hooks. They're all firm living now, I think about it. And these plants, by the way, are from QVC. They kindly sent me some plants to pop in here. Because so I didn't even know they did plants, but yeah. And the calathea, which is sort of a baby calathea, is from QVC. The mirror, again, is from Dot Maison. It's a Norman Copenhagen... Uh, Lip mirror, I think. Let's just keep some of the matte stuff on, keep them tidy. This again is Firm Living from Dot Maison, toilet paper holder. I've always wanted one of these, they do them in brass as well. So, yeah, that just ties perfectly in, really. The black paint around the window, we had to get bathroom paint obviously because it gets quite steamy in here, so it needed to be suitable. Can't really see. But black bathroom paint or even kitchen paint is not easy to find. Being you just don't sell it. They sell like whites and blues and greens and stuff, but ugh, no. So I um, had to get Valsper to mix a black up basically. As per um, the house that built black, I think that's how you use the name, 
um, recommended. I think this, this black is called Downing Street. This window I absolutely hate. It's got this weird pattern running through it, which is in the glass, so it can't be changed unless we change the window, which is obviously very expensive. So we we'll are be doing that for now. Um, but they are massively improved. It's really hard to tell on here. And I'll do some befores and afters of um, to show this properly on my Instagram. It's actually got a film on it now. Um, so the I think it's the Window Film Company um, sent some film to, to use. And, and you, it's really easy. It takes a couple of minutes to do. You pop it on um, and it, it this is just the plain frostbite um, film but it's really improved it and it's actually brightened it up in here strangely. You really can't see the pattern as much now, if I get closer you can see it slightly. So I'm actually really impressed with that, you can get it cut to the exact size you um, want it and everything. But I must have lost the plot when I measured. Uh, the windows and I must have thought that the bottom window is the same width as the top because when we put it on last night it's not long enough <laughs> so yeah I nearly had a breakdown last night um, because it was like the last finished piece and it's not right so yeah I'll order another one of those but to be honest you can't see it at the moment anyway so let's just pretend that isn't there Toilets from Soak as well. I would have loved to have a wall hung one, um, but we would have had to build the wall out and we really weren't prepared to take any more space away from this room. So, does the job, it's a toilet. <laughs> and I think that's probably about it. So I think that's everything. Hopefully I've remembered everything. I'm bound to have forgotten some stuff. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Or pop me a message on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And definitely head over to my Instagram because I post much more regularly over there. Um, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.